Welcome back to our channel. We are the World Family Explorers, Chris, Ellie, Logan, and Connor. We left our life in the U.S. behind for a world of adventures, and today we're in Sipolai, Philippines. We will give you a tour of the place we're staying at, visit one of the top resorts with magnificent views, watch another incredible sunset, and take you to one of our favorite burger spots in town. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started. So today we're gonna show you guys where we're staying, our apartment, and then we're gonna take you to a really nice resort that's supposed to have gorgeous views. Yeah, and it's only from the Cipolle City Center, it's only how far, about? The resort? Yeah. Seven minutes away from here, so okay. very, very close. That's uh, not a walking, that's driving distance. So we're gonna have to get ourselves a ride over there. But first, we're gonna give you guys a little home tour, and yeah. this over here is actually our neighborhood. Yeah, we are in a very local neighborhood. Now it is a pretty newly built house, and over that direction, you can see here about 50 steps to the beach. Now that's the Fisherman Beach. You can swim there. I even helped them pull in some fish over there. And then down the road is where we went to the beach in Cipolle that's just 10 minute walk down the road. Right. So come over here with us. There's a little convenience store right there. Oh yeah. Which is I forgot. So nice to have Yeah. Nearby. Over here is where I go to get my Coca-Cola drinks and snacks and everything. Hello, how are you? So here you can see our place. It has a little upstairs deck, and then it is gated in. Pretty secure place. Not that we have felt or like we really need it to be that secure, but yeah. it is nice that it is secure. Yes, yeah, so they do have the gate. They have the you know the bars in the window just in case. And then they want to keep their uh, scooters safe too. The owner's That's scooters hard. right there. They do have a pretty large like hand carved wood door when you come in, which is nice. Really nice. Alrighty, so coming in, we have our little courtyard where we have a little lap pool. This is kind of perfect for the kids. Um, yeah, we don't have to worry about them drowning in it. They actually can like tippy toe. Yeah, oh, it's actually the depth perfect is. for Connor. He's actually in here just like swimming one end to the other uh, by himself a lot of the times and just having a good time in here. Yeah, and the string lights are nice at night. The way that it's set up here is it's kind of almost like a hotel where we have one two, three, four bedrooms. So they have four separate bedrooms with the, with surrounding the pool, yeah, which is nice. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So it's kind of like the pool is the centerpiece of the home in a way, because all the rooms mm. kind of go around it. Mm. But come on over here first. The outdoor kitchen. This is where we made our adobo yes. with our friend Janice that's been so, helping us cook and everything. So this home, you, you can't have a helper come and help you. So Janice has been our helper and she's so wonderful. We loved having her around. She has taught us some recipes um, and just helps to maintain the pool and the home. So that way it's it's one less thing you have to worry about. So yeah, we have our kitchen. It's pretty well stocked out here. Got lots of pans, lots of um, things to use in Got here. Got our double so. gas burner for out, outdoors. And you have here. a washing machine as well. And then there is no dryer, but we can hang all the clothes. We have a couple of different areas to hang them, either by the scooters or upstairs. If it's raining, upstairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to go right now. All right, let's go. Upstairs. Yeah, this up here is a really cool chill spot where you can drink coffee or drink beers at night or, well, whenever you want to drink beers if you're on vacation. Got a nice kind of like day bed style couch there and some table seating, and then a bar here. Overlooking the area here. Might as well go and hit the bedrooms here. The first bedroom here is our bedroom. So you have a little bit of storage space in here. I guess that would be the one criticism is we could use a little bit more storage closet space. space, yeah. They could have really extended this out further so you have more closet space. Uh, we have a good amount of luggage since we're full-time traveling, so this has been a little... Yeah, most people rest. just be staying here like a week and probably wouldn't have as much stuff as we do. Right. So you have a nice size bed. You have a TV in your bedroom, which we love to have. Yeah. We like to have, you know, our own TVs. That way nobody's fighting over them. And super high-speed internet. The best yeah. internet. I was kind of worried, um, thinking the Philippines is known to have kind of spotty internet in certain areas. Um, so I was a little nervous, but the internet here has been some of the best we have ever had anywhere in the world. Which is oh yeah, crazy. and that's that's definitely been tested by our kids who stream gaming. Yes. Like Roblox is their thing for your parents out there. Oh so yeah, right. they do the Roblox and they need the stream for that, but they've been able to stream here, which they weren't in all the locations we've been, so that's been a good thing. 
does have a little extra storage here and a little desktop area. Right. It's not really storage because there's no drawers in here, but at least you can put things underneath it as well. So our bathroom, one really nice thing is that every bedroom has had um, has their own bathroom. So it's a nice space. Yeah, got the toilet. It does have the normal thing that we've seen in Asia a lot where they have the open shower. I well, would, I guess Europe too. I would um, love to just put a door right here will not be hard, but it's so much less messy. <laughs> I know that seems to be everywhere in Europe it's and Asia. It's very common. It's very common. We know. So three, there's four bedrooms, and then that one will show you does not have the air conditioning in a minute. So this one looks very, very similar in size and everything. It's like a mirror, well. basically, of the other one. Yeah, it's, it's got practically the practically identical. You still have a TV. You still have a queen size bed. And you still have your own bathroom. And then two out of the four have the hot water showers. So those are the, you know, you never run out of hot water because it heats it as it goes through, which I actually like that kind. Let's go ahead and do Connor's room. Alrighty. So that room right there was our nine-year-old Logan. He's been staying there. And then let's see if what Connor's doing. Hopefully nothing bad. Hey, Connor. He's watching TV. Okay, so he's watching YouTube. Why aren't you watching the World Family Explorers? They're my favorite. So Connor's room is a little bit different on this side because it has a, it doesn't have windows, but it has a big slider. He also has his own air conditioner. So he's been keeping cool in here. And again, he has his own bathroom, which is nice. Yeah. Now this one, does, oh yeah, this one doesn't have a door, which I don't think it matters because the room is all his. But, and this one does not have the hot water shower. So he's been coming over to our shower. <laughs> Alrighty, moving on to the final bedroom. So we're not using this one because yes. we only have two kids, but this actually has a bunk bed. So we haven't been using this one. This is the only room that doesn't have an air conditioner, but it does have a fan here. And then similar bathroom. Again, this one does not have the heater. So. Alrighty, we're moving on to the kitchen, the indoor kitchen. I love this area. It's so big in here. It is a pretty western kitchen, I would say. You have your stove, you have a toaster, you got lots of counter space. Yeah, it does have the gas, gas four burner stove and oven, which we haven't really used, but we've been using the outdoor kitchen. The microwave. microwave. Yeah. You have a lot of dishes underneath here. So it's definitely a very like livable kitchen where you can do a lot of cooking in. You got ceiling fan, you got extra fan, so it definitely stays cool in here. You do have a pretty new refrigerator as well. Logan is, what, I was just talking about, it, it, how's, the, how's the internet, Logan, the Good. streaming? Good. Is All it right. fast? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then you have like a, I'm pretty sure it's like an 80 inch TV. And then another fun thing, they have a karaoke machine, which has the lights and everything. So, and it's on. Hello, hello. Oh, it's actually on. There you go. Logan playing his video game. So that's been fun to do that too as well for, with the kids. Yeah, I think that concludes our home tour, right? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get ready and we're gonna go to the Perth Resort that we were talking about earlier. So come on kids, let's get ready and come along with us. Okay, so we're on the road or on the walk and we are looking for a tricycle to take us there. Some of them are a little bigger and have more room than others, so. For four of us, you know, hopefully we find a pretty big one that looks pretty comfortable. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you. Everybody's very welcome in the Philippines. Thank you. They offered me a shot, but I'm going to go with my family right now. I'll stop by later and have that drink. Thank you. So the owner of the convenience store that I walked by and actually got Coca-Cola last night says that he has a friend that can give us a ride to the Perth Resort. So we're going to go chill in their little chill area here, the little beer garden. Nice and cool in the shade here. Okay, so while we were waiting, Tom Tom insisted I have a beer. So this is San Miguel. I've had it draft, but I, oh, it's a pale pilsner. So I'm not sure if I had this specific one since 1890, though. Ooh, that's a while. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll be back tonight. Um. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we found our ride. Now we're going to see if he's going to charge us a lot of money. So how much to the Perth Resort for us? Uh, it's like seven minutes. How long? How much? How long? Uh, more than five kilometers. For what? Five kilometers right there. Okay. okay. From here to Okay, Perth, Perth, so Paradise. so how many pesos? Uh, 100 each. 100 each, okay. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That is awesome, nice Very stickers. Nice. And over here, it kind of looks like, oh, it's got a Mercedes symbol. <laughs> so this is German engineering. 
I like it. And what's your name? Vince. What's your name? Denise. Chris, nice to meet you. you All right, looks like we got a ride. You'll get in the back. All right, I'm getting in the back. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're good okay, to go. Let's go. <laughs> How you doing up there, kids? <laughs> we're good. All right, this is actually the most comfortable one that we've ridden in. Looks like they even have some cool lighting at night, too. Well, maybe comfortable for you. I'm getting squished by a Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the luggage rack. <laughs> So our driver actually said it was better if I stood up here. So I'm like kind of on the luggage rack here. Kids are down there. I actually have like a handle to hold on to here because it's got these spoilers. Looks like it's an old school TV engine. I guess without the cushions, he said it would be pretty rough to sit down on the luggage rack. So what do you think down there? This is, huh? this is painful. Painful? <laughs> I think this is fun. This is like an off-road adventure. Okay, at first I was like, oh, 400 pesos, are you sure? Because it's pretty cheap for transportation here, but now I'm seeing that he's earning his 400 pesos for sure. Wow. All right, let's not fall into water. You're earning the You're earning your, your, your good price. It's a good price now. <laughs> That's fair price. No, the one fifty eight. Because the Maybe I have to get out. Wow, it's crazy. Alright, I think we are arriving here. This must be like the way to enter the resort. Woo! I see what he meant about sitting down there. Over those bumps, it definitely would have hurt without any padding. The kids, they have a padding on their part. Woo! Wow! <laughs> you think it's scary, Carl? That's not that scary. You've done, you've done parasailing and zip lining over rivers. This ain't scary. Way more scary than zip <laughs> This bad boy did a good job getting here. I really like this spoiler. It's cool. Oh wait, 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 look at that. This saved by God, the mud flat. That's awesome. Okay, that was actually a pretty good ride there. A little rough at the end, but that was fun. Uh, where is it? Thank you, Dennis. Oh. All right, so they have a gate right here to enter. Looks like there's like a little cove for the boats to come here and deliver you. So that's great. We would like the day pass to use the pool. You do have food though here? Uh, we serve also food, uh, but we require to get one cottage for you to order to uh, eat there. You have to get a cottage. You get one cottage, I suggest. You will consider. How much does a cottage cost? Per use. 500 per use. 500 per use. Okay. Like for the time? Yes. The whole until, time? Yes, until okay. 5 p.m. Oh, until 5 p.m. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Why not? I guess we're getting a cottage. Uh, the seven and nine is half for the entrance fee and the half for the pool. Okay. okay. Yes. So 180 times two for the pool is 360, and then the two of them is 180. The total is 540 plus the cottage. 500 is 1,040. 1,040. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. So, she was saying that in order for us to eat up there, we have to get a cottage, right? And we're yeah. pretty starving, so. <laughs> it's happening, yeah. <laughs> so I guess you're not allowed to eat by the pool. Oh, or at the restaurant? I thought it was a restaurant. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they only Thanks. serve to the cottages. Strange. I don't know. I'm kind of excited about the cottages, though. Because I don't know what they are, so it's kind of a mystery. <laughs> These steps are... <sighs> These steps are a little labor. Oh, wow, look. Look, guys, look how pretty. Now the steps get smaller. I didn't know it was going to be adventure just getting here. <laughs> well, we're no getting our exercise on now with the stairs. Oh, look, they must know that the stairs are tough because they put some benches along the way. So it's a little cloudy today, so we are a little worried it might rain. But I guess we will find out. Connor, are you already taking a break, dude? Yes. Look at them, they're going on strike. All right, dudes, do you need some water? No, I know I feel stuck to climb stairs, oh, Logan. You got your Sprite from Tom Tom, huh? I don't drink Sprite. You want some water, Connor? Yes. All right. 
our, our voyage up 50 steps has really took a toll on you. You poor man. Here you go. Thank you. I saved your life. Don't forget that. Oh, Lon, now you're taking a break? I'm just making fun of the kids. <laughs> All right, let's go. At least every time you take a break, you get a beautiful view. I don't think they have an elevator, so if you're handicapped, it's just don't not come. Be the resort for you. Just don't come. If you're, unfortunately, you're not making it. Unfortunately, too many stairs. But I guess, hey, the stairs are why we're gonna have this amazing view that I've seen pictures of. So, what? uh oh, I see a big storm cloud coming. Oh gosh. It's a good thing that we have the uh, cabin to uh, take shelter yeah. in the cottage. Wow. All right. This view was worth every step. Well, it's hopefully it's worth the rest of the stairs because you're not done yet. <laughs> and looks... I see more sit downs. Yeah. There's little places to sit down and enjoy the area. Okay, so we made it to the top and we're just, we're looking for our cottage. So apparently it doesn't translate very well because a cottage is just a table. So they're like, choose your cottage. I'm like, oh, one of these rooms over here. And they're like, no, no, no. A cottage is this table here, or this table right over here. A little bit of a false advertisement going on, but... I guess. All right, well, Renting hey. a table for 10 bucks seems a little crazy but if anyway. you're gonna spend money at their res restaurant. Yeah, so opinion. we got a table, it's right by the pool, and we got a view done. Yep, and the view is beautiful. This view is definitely incredible. I mean, look at these hills. It kind of reminds me of the chocolate hills in Bohol, which by the way, we've missed out. We did not get to see. We got caught in a rainstorm the day that we were supposed to go there. But I feel like I'm there right now. Look at this. It's kind of like the Hershey's Kisses, Hershey's kisses but on water. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful and green. This is yeah. more like And it is a cloudy day, so I'm sure it would be even more beautiful. It wasn't cloudy, the sun's behind the clouds right now. But, but still. it is very picturesque nonetheless. It is gorgeous, very yeah. quiet atmosphere. I definitely say this is more of a come and kind of chill, hang out, enjoy the views. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get some food, get some drinks here. So we'll let you know what the total of our day here in this paradise in the sky is. Yeah. <laughs> this is here. more of mint chocolate kisses. Mint chocolate kisses? Mint chocolate. Oh, because they're more green? Oh, yeah. Good one, Connor. Yeah, you know why they call them the chocolate hills in Bahal? Because when it's the dry season, they look like chocolate, chocolate kisses. That's right. <laughs> okay, so the sun has come back out. We're getting a little bit of sunshine. We were worried it was gonna rain soon because some clouds are moving in. Oh, Connor, our little fish there. He's loving the pool, huh? It's a perfect temperature, it's nice and warm. So Connor, would you consider this paradise? Yeah, <laughs> almost. Oh, almost. What would... I didn't have such a walk to get up here. Oh, the walk to get up here? Yeah. I will say the view is absolutely breathtaking. What is a paradise? I don't know. I feel like it's good for a few hours. Maybe have a drink, a cocktail, enjoy the view. Um, but it's a pretty remote location. I don't know how I would like to stay at this resort like for multiple nights. Yeah, I mean, you're away from everything here. If you like being remote and serenity and everything, yeah. there's some like soft music playing over at the bar here. So if you just like being poolside, getting a drink and everything. Uh, I don't know if there is actually a beach to go to here either, down there. I'm trying to kind of peek and see, yeah. I don't see one. So that's the other thing. So we're gonna look around more. All right, so we are looking at our options here for food. We are hungry. They have a lot of um, like, Filipino food options, of course. We're in the Philippines. So I would expect to see the chicken adobo and um, things like that. So they actually have one interesting one, Hawaiian chicken adobo. I wonder if that has pineapple in it. Probably. Must, huh? <laughs> um, but they have also some hot dogs, some stir fried chicken, definitely very heavy meat, and then some fish options as well. For our little vegetarian, it's a little bit tricky. So we're gonna get him an Oreo shake, I think, and some French fries to hold then him we'll over. Get him some until other food later. We can actually find some food for him. 
Um, but yeah, so definitely a lot of traditional dishes though. So if you're looking for a Filipino food, it looks like they have you covered here. Yeah, I mean, what do you think so, about the price? The prices are prices are high. A little bit higher, um, of course. You're here, so you don't have any choices. So. Yeah. So <laughs> I would say the prices, but then again, the portions seem to be rather large because so all of them kind of say like chicken. And it'll so be two like to three two to three people. people. So maybe they are big portions. Even like the short order, like French fries, would be two hundred pesos, which is for two to three people. So okay, we'll, we'll see what the yeah, portions are like. So. All right. Well, let's figure out what we're gonna order, and then we'll show you guys once we get so even though this view here is very amazing and we're making friends over here our cottage that we paid 500 for is getting hit by the sun so we don't want to be eating with the sun in our eyes here hitting us so we are going to change that and we're going to eat downstairs in the restaurant as you can probably tell <laughs> cottage yeah. uh, is getting uh, blasted with sun so we wanted to come and kind of hide from it so we're downstairs right now it was actually going to be an additional fee if we wanted to eat upstairs anyway on top of the cottage fee so well, I kind of understand because those steps are pretty treacherous so they would have I to do, carry everything upstairs up the steps I do get it but if they're making it already pay 500 extra so you're able to eat upstairs and have a table then I feel like that should include the delivery of the food. That's true, because <laughs> why would you get the table if you weren't expecting to have the food delivered there and you're not allowed to get food there unless, unless you pay you for the, the cottage. Yeah, unless you have the cottage. There's so lots of different there's intricacies. Of, it's just a lot of fees. Just make it simple, guys. They're, it's not necessary to be this complicated. But <laughs> let's see how the food, you know, fares. Is it good? Connor got Fries? a fresh mango smoothie. How oh, I thought it was a pina colada, a mango pina colada. It's like a pina colada thickness. Yeah, well, but with mango. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a mango smoothie. It actually was the only smoothie they had available. They had like a big list of them, but I guess right now the only option is the mango. None of the other ones were available. The french fries look sad. <laughs> they look lumpy. Like kind of under The not color crispy. is not... Um, They're wow. delicious though. Yeah. So we have rice and we also got this like sweet delicious and sour looking pork, right? Yeah, sweet and sour pork. Let's see what's in here. I feel like this is pineapple. It is. Oh. Definitely sweet pineapple and sour. Pineapple and what sauce? And then we have the pork. Which that mm, looks like a big chunk a giant of pork. Piece right there. <laughs> now I can tell that it has some fat on it, so I'm gonna grab my spoon. Here in the Philippines, they don't really use knives, but they use the, the spoon to be able to cut with it. So I've That's because everything is fall off the bone, so you don't need yeah. you don't need a knife. I've noticed they make that you it don't tender really, enough. You don't really get a lot of knives in restaurants. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce here, just to make sure we get like the flavor. Mm. That is actually really good. So the redemption, the redemption is the pork. Looks really juicy. The sauce is really really good. Definitely both sweet and sour, like the name. I like the pineapple with it. Look at this one, Right off the bat, I got a giant piece right here. Mm. I got a little bit of crispiness on mine on the edge, which I like. I love the sweet and sour sauce. This is a winner to me. I'm gonna try some of these other vegetables and everything, but. This one is not crispy, but it's oh. you wanna try the pork? You're gonna like it. After I finish this French fry, the sauce is not good. The sauce is not good, not your favorite? The actual chicken? It's pork. Oh yeah, pork. <laughs> well, I the could, actual pork is good. I could see how he may not love the, the sour aspect to it, you know? Because it's a little but I love it. vinegary, but it's delicious. No. I think it's actually quite good. It's good. One thing that was kind of something I didn't like, and I didn't really realize when we checked in here for this day pass, was it's only till 5 o'clock. So sunset is after six o'clock here. And that was one of the things that I was kind of looking forward to is watching like the epic sunset from the pool up there. I guess we're not gonna be able to do that because we have to leave at five o'clock on the day pass. So unfortunately we won't be showing you an epic sunset here today, but what I will do is I'm gonna take you over to the Wow Sipile sign and I'm gonna show you an epic sunset there because we've been seeing some really good sunsets there. So don't worry. You're going to see the sunset at the end of this video. Yeah, and the place that we're eating here, right down off the steps where the restaurant's located, 
It's right by where they have the boats. So they do actually rent out boat hopping trips here. And that is their boat, which is a really, really nice boat, actually. One of the nicest I've seen for the island hopping here. All right, and our amazing driver is here with the coolest tuk-tuk in town. Trike that I've seen in town. Get on in, Connor. <laughs> you don't want to fall in there, Logan? Slow huh? and steady, guys. Slow Poor and steady. Poor guy, you fall in a hole. It literally feels like I'm going to die. Thank you so okay, much. Welcome, sir. Thank okay, you. back home, guys. Thank you. So once we got home, the kids were like, it's hot. I don't want to go back outside. They're in the air conditioning playing video games. So we had a house helper watch the kids. So mama and I can go take this bad boy for a spin. So this is actually the owner of our rental scooter and we got permission to take it for a spin. So this is going to be your first time on the back of a scooter. I'm like, excited, a little nervous. <laughs> Have my backpack She on. looks like Dora the Explorer or something. Back, 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 back. <laughs> Yeah, but we've been to lots of Asian countries and of course everybody rides scooters, but I've never felt comfortable. But since this is a smaller town, not a lot of traffic, this is the perfect time to take mama for a ride here. Yeah, I'm And we have a babysitter, so why not? I mean, so, you've ridden scooters before, so you know what you're Yeah, doing. I've ridden mo scooters, motorbikes and everything, but I've never taken her for a ride. Because since we've been married, I haven't had a motorcycle, so. Let's go, let's do Let's it. see if she trusts me, and we're going to go catch the sunset at the beach. Let's hope we stay alive. <laughs> and you guys, nobody wears helmets here, so don't come prosecuting us in the comments. We're not wearing helmets, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, we if, we were, if we were going on one of the major streets or going out of town, but we're just like slowly putting along the beach to go see the sunset, so feeling safe. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Think you know what you're doing? Yes. Oh, that right. thing's looking pretty sweet. Look at uh, you. It's nice. I like the color and everything. All right, you feel good? All right, feel good. All right. Okay, be careful. Don't kill me. <laughs> Look, it's already starting to be beautiful over there. All right, well, this is a nice, peaceful ride. You concentrate on watching the road, mister. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to smile for the camera. And there's a dog in the middle of the road, of course, testing my scooter skills. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Oh, no, funny. Wait, this is kind of fun. Like, we didn't have the kids. I feel like a scooter would totally be the way that we got around in Asia. Yeah. Oh, there's a booster too talking <laughs> to us. But since we have the kids, we really don't feel comfortable putting the kids and me on one scooter with Chris driving. I know some of some people do it. Here we've seen locals who have four plus people on a scooter. Yeah. Our a friends, man. Michael and Min. <laughs> we've seen you on the Yamaha with your whole family. Yeah. So we actually were already here once with the kids and had the halo halo, which is the mix mix. So that is their traditional Filipino dessert. And we are catching this beautiful sunset. The sunset here is absolutely magical. If you are in Sipole, come and see the sunsets and enjoy a halo halo, which we're gonna do right now. I am looking forward to this. I don't have to share with the kids. <laughs> We are catching the very end of the sunset. It's about to dip down into the ocean there. I was hoping to have a bite of the hollow hollow as, oh, wait, 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 right there. Oh, it, is. oh, it just went down. Just went down over, but of course still beautiful. It's bouncing off there. There's actually like a dot on my camera there. I can see that looks like it's the sun, but in real life, I see that it dipped down over. But, oh, there it oh. goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's here just in time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, hey. Hey, there we go. a gorgeous, gorgeous view. And now we have a little treat to reward ourselves. Look at this. Look how Amazing. beautiful that is. So if you didn't watch our other video, we did have Hollow Hollow here before. Mix Mix. Yeah. As so it's called. It has this little edible straw. It's got the ube ice, ice cream. cream. It's got the jellies. It's got some fruit. What else do they put in here? Then, of course, the frozen ice right there. So it's a really refreshing dessert. It is super good. There's so many different flavors and textures going on all in here, <laughs> but it somehow works. There's also condensed milk at the very bottom. So that's why they kind of say you should mix, mix it mix, before mix you it. eat it. <laughs> mix in the condensed milk with the ice. Yes. So okay. I'm going to try to do that right now. But I also kind of want to taste the components of it too on its own. 
because I feel like last time it was pretty melty by the time we started eating it. So, All right, let, let me try it. this ube. Oh. I didn't know that I needed ube ice cream in my life, you guys, but this <laughs> super refreshing. Good. Let, me, let me get in on mm. this. Oh, now they're turning up the jams back there, too. There's some pineapple in here, some mangoes. Mm. Just like so many flavors and textures going on. It is so good. Yeah, we love the halo halo. We are in search for some stuff to bring back for the kids. So we're gonna look at some of these street cards down here. Uh, I know Connor had some favorites. What did he have out of the street food there? He really like likes some, some dumplings, dumplings, right? Dumplings. And then he's kind of craving a cheeseburger. So maybe we'll see if there's a cheeseburger person what over there. I saw find? one one night. Hey! Oh, you remember me! Hey! Yeah, of course. Okay. This is my wife, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. So I picked up some cheeseburgers here last night, and my son loved them so much. Really? He begged to have another one. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> So I got the double, the double cheeseburger, and then he puts his special sauce on it, and he seasons it well. And then he also has the shaker fries, so you can get different flavors of the shaker fries. They have barbecue and cheese, I think, and what was it? Barbecue, sour cream, and regular fries. Well, let's get one sour cream, one barbecue, and then we'll get two double cheeseburgers. I'm sure you'll have one, right? Yeah, I, I'm still hungry, yeah. <laughs> so actually, we had a nice chat last night, so I know a little bit about his burgers. So he uses fresh ham from the market, minced ham, that he has made into patties here. And that is the meat that he uses for his burgers. You can see he's getting some fresh <laughs> eggs going there too. Yeah, you can get an egg egg burger too. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's the option Yum. of the egg burger. Yeah. Should we have added that as a two day? <laughs> nah, I think it's okay. It'll All be right. messy. <laughs> oh look, you got musicians going by? Yeah. Show me what you're working with. Hello. Hey, how are you? How's it going? I'm Chris. Benji from nice New Zealand. Zealand. Would you like to play for us? Yeah, from New Zealand. From New Zealand. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Where are you guys from? We're from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. You guys are visiting right now. Yes, yes we're visiting. Is that Tagalog song for you guys? That's Maroon 5. <laughs> That's Maroon 5. <laughs> Maroon 5. <laughs> He's making a request. Yeah. <laughs> request by request, man. <laughs> So nice to meet you though. So are, are you like on a mission or yeah, a mission on a mission. missionaries? Yeah, oh, awesome. I'm Abu no. Sagab and I'm from Mindanao. Uh, and then I'm out of Paoma from New Zealand. Thank yeah. you for spreading nice the word. We yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Nice How nice to get entertainment while we're getting our burgers made. Oh, That's nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. He's bringing out the fire. Bringing out the fire. That's good to get a little crispiness on there. Yeah. And uh, that's one thing I hate on burgers, if the cheese isn't melted. And look at that, you know? perfectly <laughs> melted. It's definitely melted on there. So there's two different kinds of sauces? So, okay, so what's the second sauce? There's burger sauce? Cheese sauce. Cheese, cheese sauce, sauce. Oh, okay. Super cheesy, I love it. So super cheese. So we also picked up the little calamansi juice. These are the little tiny limes. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a lemonade type of deal. So refreshing, slightly tart, not super sweet, really, really good. It's funny while I'm filming you here because these lights are making it look like you're like clubbing. Party. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the only mm -hmm. clipping I'm doing, guys. <laughs> burger Beautiful over burger. Here, which I was seeing him put egg on some of them, and I'm actually slightly regretful. Maybe we should have done the egg too. But okay. this next time. Really good. Little so messy. it's got a little lettuce, burger sauce, cheese sauce, and cheese. Look at that. Okay. All right. Mm. Wow. So, so he toasted the bun. Mm -hmm. So it has like a little crunch to it, yeah. but it's still very soft. And then the meat is super juicy. So much sauce and cheese. Even though this is not a beef burger, it's a pork burger. It may be one of the best pork burgers I've ever had. It's so good. All right, but you gotta share. <laughs> you must share. Mm. That is so creamy, dreamy, cheesy. Love it. And we also got our fries. So this is like a shaker fries. So they got like the shaker seasoning on them, the sour mm -hmm. cream and the barbecue. Which is super yeah, popular here in the Philippines. Fries, yeah. They love yeah. their flavored french fries as we have come to find out. They even have them at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> so this one looks like it has a lot of seasoning. Mm. These potatoes are way better than the ones I had at the resort earlier. The ones there were super bland and not crispy. These ones? Those are like raw that we had earlier. Opposite. These are Perfect to perfection. Crisp. So his daughter did a good job mm -hmm. cooking the fries. Amazing. <laughs> Which one did they oh, give you? Great French fries. Let's see if we can guess this one I gave you. I don't know. Sour cream? Really? The barbecue? Jeez. I'm thinking <laughs> sour cream in my head. I taste sour cream. Now I need to do a side by side. Alright. There you go. We want each. So now so let's see if I can tell the difference. <laughs> Barbecue sour cream. Incorrect. What is it? <laughs> I switched hands. No, the long fry. <laughs> I knew which one the long fry was. Jesus, I can't even identify flavors anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely some good late night food right here. And Connor's gonna be happy when we bring back, back a burger started. for him. Oh yeah. And Logan had some leftover pizza actually at the house. So we got to feed him more too since he's our vegetarian. He just had a cheese pizza. That is a wrap for this little tour of Sipole. So yeah, we really enjoyed our stay here. The beaches have been beautiful and peaceful. Not very many tourists at all actually in this area. We've met area. so many locals. The kids have made friends with a lot of locals. It's very nice because all the kids speak English. So the kids have been enjoying that. They even played the same video games. Yes. So they've been having a great time. It's amazing whenever they're able to connect with the local kids. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a fantastic experience. Um, but yeah, that is all for today and we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, if you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe and follow us along.